This is gonna be a quick little video showing you a model I printed, but it's, it's quite possibly the most extraordinary model I've printed to date. I'm Joel, this is 3D Printing Nerd. It fits on my head. Well, let's just get down to it. This is the model right here. And this, well, this isn't the final form, the one that I'm actually talking about. This is an open SCAD model of many different sign functions resulting in over 9,000 cuboids. I saw this on Twitter by Twitter user Chompworks. And they tweeted out a picture of this. And I believe I replied with, oh, I'm gonna print that. And I did. This was sliced in Simplify 3D and printed on my GMAX 1.5 XT Plus. It took quite a while, but it's it's beautiful. Look at this thing, just the, the, the cuboids, the little squares that stick out all over the place. It has this crazy tactile feel and it's gorgeous. I love this thing, but I'm on my GMAX. I gotta go bigger. So I did. This is bigger. User Chompworks decided to make a model that was compatible with vase mode because while the previous one did take a while to print, no one was able to print it in vase mode because of the center column where you can put your flowers or whatever. So they created this. And I didn't put a bottom on it because I thought, well, it would take too long and too much filament for that bottom. I just, I wanted the sidewalls. I wanted these features. I wanted what this looked like and it's awesome. You can kind of see in areas like right here where um, vase mode just doesn't work because there's too much horizontal space between the two layers and that's why it fails. But I mean, you can see through it. There's a little bit of, a little bit of fuzz in there, a little bit of fur, that's okay. It fits on my head. So this one is cool. And my thoughts with this were to create some sort of bin where I could throw my scrap plastics into. I'm told I'm getting a filament recycling system at some point. I'm gonna need some scrap filament. Why not put a wood or foam base on this and use this as a way to collect my plastic scraps. Seems like the right thing to do. All right, but this is cool, the other one is cool, but that's not the one I'm talking about. In order to show you what I believe to be the most exquisite model I've printed to date, we need to talk about that machine right there. No, not the green thing on top of it, the machine. That is the Form 2 from Form Labs. It's a resin printer. It uses SLA to create these tiny minuscule layers within a vat of resin that it then pulls the part out of. It takes an exceptionally long time to print things because of the micro layers that you're printing at. A laser goes around, a little laser goes around and cures the resin layer by layer as it extracts it. It's really cool. In fact, I am preparing a video on the form at some point. This is what a piece looks like when it comes out of the form. This is a pickle rick, of course, and uh, it looks well, it looks great. I did print two. And there it is. There it is. Glorious, isn't it? So we know the detail that the Form 2 is able to achieve, and I really like this clear resin because then you can see through it. It just, it looks, it looks better than the gray, than the white, than the black for an application like this. I love the clear because you can do things with lights, which comes into play when you print the model like how I printed it. <laughs> you ready? This is it. This is it right here. This is that many sine wave function vase with over 9,000 cuboids on it, 3D printed on the Form 2 resin 3D printer at about 85% scale, 80% scale, something like that. It was printed at 0 0.05 layer height. That's crazy pants. It took a day. It took 24 hours and five minutes to print, but look at it. It's gorgeous. The way that the light hits it, the way that the light refracts within these cuboids is gorgeous. In fact, I've got my, my phone light out and if I hold it underneath, 
you can start to see some of the cool stuff that happens when you have this model and you put light through it. That's so cool. Well, you know, if a white light through this model looks great, then what we can do is use something like the Adafruit Circuit Playground. This is a little bit of electronics from Adafruit that is easy to program using the Microsoft Make Code graphical interface. I mean, you can add JavaScript to it or Python, I believe, uh, but it's super easy. So when you hook it up to a five volt source via USB, it can run pre-programmed routines like making the lights go around in a rainbow pattern. That looks cool as well. Let me shut off the lights. All right, here we are in the dark. I don't know why I'm whispering, but I'm gonna power on this again so you can see it and then we'll put it under here. I think with the lights out, we get to see this really cool rainbow show within the model. I love this. This is cool. I'll go turn the lights back on. I know a lot of people will tell you that you, you need to do more functional 3D printing. You need to do functional things with your 3D prints. You need to create functional 3D models, but there's something to be said about art and 3D printing. And this is the best kind of art because it's art represented by mathematics. It's beautiful. Well, I just wanted to show you this. I think this is really cool. And if you use math to create art, uh, you are cool as well. In fact, if you have, let me know what you've created. Uh, find me on the Twitters. I'm at Joel Telling and tweet me some pictures of some of your math based artwork. I would love to see it. All right, well, let's set it down. I wanna thank you for subscribing. And if you're not, please do and ring that bell to be notified of when cool new stuff is uploaded to the channel. A big thanks to everybody that supports me via Patreon, YouTube Red, and for letting the ads play. Well, and finally, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, high five.